My name is Jane Barden and I served in Turkmenistan 2003 to 2005 with my husband Jack and we were the uh, only volunteers in Turkmenistan over 30 and we were quite a bit over 30. In fact, uh, we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary in Turkmenistan. And everybody came from their posts and all the staff came and we had a big party. And we were health educators. And our biggest project was making a medical dictionary in Turkmen, Russian and English. Uh, I'm Jack Barden and I was a uh, Peace Corps volunteer in Turkmenistan from 03 to 05, so I've been back a few years now and originally was stationed in a village, a little tiny village uh, of Tahatan Baba and ended up uh, in a uh, small city of Goktepe, uh, oh, about two hours out of the capital city of Ashgabat. Memories of my family, the family we ended up with for the last year, a young couple, uh, both, uh, both nurses in the hospital I worked in with three young children, and we had one little room in the, in the back of the very small house, and we had to climb over them to get out to the outhouse, but we liked them and they liked us, so it all worked out very well. Okay. Uh, Stephen Angelsmith, I served in Turkmenistan from 2005 to 2007. Uh, I was in Balkanabat, which is in Balkan uh, Veliat in, in Turkmenistan. <laughs> um, one of the stories I often tell uh, is the awkward, we had a maternal and child health mission. I was a health volunteer and I was placed in a regional, a large regional provincial capital hospital. So a, a city of about 100,000 people. Um, and I was the local health volunteer. And the maternal child health mission, uh, you know, this was during the first few months of Peace Corps, so part of that getting, getting settled, getting, figuring out what I should be doing type of, that, that during that time. And they, they wanted, my counterpart was very insistent that I do maternal and child health because that was the, the mission. And so she said, well, that means you have to talk about breastfeeding with the local women. And that was, about 10 weeks after my 10 week Turkmen language training and I knew how to say where's the bathroom and you know maybe three other things and so I, I spent about a month developing a PowerPoint presentation uh, or tr maybe just writing down a PowerPoint presentation that someone else had and practicing it and then um, the fateful day came when I had to uh, present it in front of about 15 women crammed into my office and it was it was a extremely culturally inappropriate and, and awkward um, language tool and uh, but so needless to say I did not do another one of those <laughs> um, and then I, I after that we started with our, our more appropriate youth development work and, and and boys club and gender work and so um, that was my interlude into, <laughs> into the rest of the service. <laughs>